Hello everybody, it's Miss Webb here. I'm going to do a little activity which is on your plan this week, your home learning plan. And one of the activities is how to write a letter. And we thought it would be a really, really nice idea for you to write a letter to your new teacher. Next year you might have found that out already and you're probably going to see them on Wednesday. So we're going to have a little look at some of the things we could write in a letter, what we might say, what we might ask our new teacher. So when we write a letter, I've got my piece of paper here. You, you should get one like this, maybe with lines on, so that you're writing your letters really neatly. I couldn't find any with lines on at home. So writing a letter is a little bit like writing a card. You always have to write the person's name at the top. And we usually say dear or to. I'll use the word dear because it's got a triograph in it. I wonder if you can remember what triograph is in dear. Let's sound it out. D, ear, ear. I'll show you. There's my triograph. Dear. And then your teacher's name. So some of you will have Miss King and Mrs McInnes and some of you might have Miss Flatty. I'll just do Miss King as an example. Nice easy name to spell. Miss. Dear Miss. King. And King starts with a kicking cut. Dear Miss King. Okay. So you always do that at the top of your letter so that we know who it's addressed to. Otherwise, if you get a letter and it doesn't say anything at the top, it might not be for you. You always put who you're writing your letter to. Then you want to have a think about what you want to ask your, your new teacher or maybe tell them something. I might start mine with, how are you? I've got how, capital H huh, at the beginning of a sentence. H, huh, ow. Remember your finger spaces. R is an action word. And so is you. How are you? The question marks, that's a question. And you might say something like, I'm really looking forward to starting in your class in year one. Or I can't wait to see the new classroom. So I can't wait to meet you. I'm going to write I can't wait. Wait is a good word to sound out. W -a -t, wait. Wait. I can't wait to. I know you'll do it much neater than I'm doing. I've got a really horrible pen to use. I can't wait to meet you. And sometimes in a sentence like that, you might put an exclamation mark because you're quite excited. And an exclamation mark is like this, a line and then a dot. So it's what you would use instead of a full stop if you're writing an exciting sentence. So, dear Miss King, how are you? I can't wait to meet you. And then if I had a little bit more room, I could write a bit more and I'm sure you will write some more. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to think about what I need to put at the bottom when I write a letter. Because if I just went and gave Miss King that, or I posted it to her house or into her classroom, she might think, oh, well, that's a lovely letter, but I don't know who it's from. So you need to always make sure you sign your name at the bottom. And we usually write something like love from or love. So love. From, from has got the fr cluster in. Love, from, and I'll write my name, Miss Webb. Now, when you're doing your letter, you'd obviously write your name. And you could put some kisses at the bottom if you wanted to, like that. And if you've got room, you could draw a little picture as well. That would be lovely. Okay, now, if you do this, then you can bring it in on Wednesday and you can actually give it to Miss King or Miss Flaherty or Mrs McInnes. And that would be really lovely. I'm sure they would really enjoy to read all of your letters. So great work if you can have a go at doing that today. Okay, 
and having a think about all the different things you need in your letter and super, super neat writing, I think, as well. Well done, everybody. See you soon. Bye.